Got the crab? Hey guys, David Hoffman here from davidsbangery.com. Over the next few days, I'm gonna show you some of the dishes you have to try with Tabasco sauce. Right now, I'm here on Avery Island. This is where Tabasco was founded. This is Tabasco country. Tabasco is king here. The sauce can be added to just about every dish, and I'm gonna show you some of the ones you have to try in the area. While in Lafayette, you have to eat Cajun Benedict. And my friends at Tabasco told me that this is the best place to eat Cajun Benedict, at the French Press, in the center of downtown Lafayette. Cajun Benedict with Tabasco sauce for breakfast. Let's go try it. I'm PJ Rizzo, I work at the French Press. We're in Lafayette, Louisiana. Specifically the Cajun Benedict. It is our most popular dish, that is the one you should have got. That was the perfect thing. Dark gumbo, very rich and dark root, and then uh, always a little boudin in something, and they're gonna have that on there. We're gonna do French bread, toasted just so with a little butter on the flat top grill. So you got some of that boudin, and flatten it out, make a patty like a burger or something would be. Uh, we're gonna set that on top of your French bread. American cheese, two poached eggs, and then cover it all in a very, very, like I said, very dark gumbo with andouille sausage and chicken. They finish it and they're just blown away. We ordered two Cajun Benedict. The secret ingredient is boudin. Boudin means pudding in French, and we're gonna eat it with some Tabasco. Tabasco for breakfast? I can do it. Here we have the Cajun Benedict. <laughs> this is insane. And right here we have the boudin. As you can see, very soft. Before anything, we've gotta put some of this. Oh my god. The boudin is delicious with some Tabasco. Perfect. Mm. This is one incredible eggs benedict. If you thought you couldn't eat Tabasco for breakfast, you were wrong. Mm. We're about to try a typical Louisiana sandwich here at the Old Time Grocery, and that is a po' boy. A po' boy always comes with meat or fried seafood. Here they've been making po' boys famous since 1982. We're gonna have a shrimp po' boy and an oyster po' boy with, of course, Tabasco. Okay, I'm Jonathan, I'm a manager here at Old Time Grocery. We're known for our shrimp po' boys, that's our most popular. We also have oysters. What makes our po' boys the best is we mayo every piece of the bread. Mayo all over it, put the shrimp on it, a little bit of ketchup, lettuce, tomatoes, ready to go. A po' boy is a Louisiana style sandwich. So here we got my po' boy. I got a half oyster po' boy, half shrimp, pepper jack cheese, I love spicy, and obviously Tabasco. Here we go. Oh wow. Shrimp po' boy with Tabasco. Mm, this is an oyster. Mm, but what makes it is Tabasco. My first oyster po' boy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Super crunchy. What I love about Tabasco is that it's not too hot. It's just right. And you can just go crazy here. <laughs> Tonight we're trying four different dishes infused with Tabasco. Here at one of the best restaurants in Lafayette, it's called Dark Rue. We're trying chicken wings, tuna tartare, tuna tartare with Tabasco, that sounds incredible. Then we're trying shrimp and grits and macaroon gratin. What's that? I have no idea. Can't wait, let's go. Uh, my name is Ryan Trahan, I'm the chef owner at Dark Rue in Lafayette, Louisiana. Dark Rue is a restaurant concept that was designed to support the local community. We only use produce and meats and products that we can source within 150 miles of our location here. Everything's made in-house. We all grew up in South Louisiana, so even though we produce a 
worldly inspired type of food. Our cooking techniques are highly rooted in Cajun and Creole techniques. That involves finishing things off with a lot of vinegar and a lot of bright flavors. And most of the time, we choose to use Tabasco and Worcestershire, a combination of the two, in order to finish and add the umami to our dish. It's kind of like our uh, Cajun fish sauce. Yeah, we, we have craft beers, we have a pretty extensive wine list, and we pride ourselves on our mix, our mixed drinks. We're gonna have four plates here. We have tuna tartare, chicken wings, shrimp, and grits. They Tabasco. all have Tabasco in them, or made with them somehow. Let's dive in, let's try it. So I guess we wanna start with this one first. Mmm, <laughs> it's a tuna tartare, it's a little hot. It's good, I like it. Mmm. <laughs> Plate number two, chicken wings. Infused with Tabasco. Yeah, I got one more thing it. for you guys. The oh, wow. macaroni. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Tabasco is not really too hot. It's like just perfect. Doesn't boil the taste buds at all. Oh my god. This is the best shrimp and grits I ever had. Bro. Wow. Oh my god. It's basically poached egg with shrimp, grits, and Tabasco. This place is amazing. Macaroni grittis. So it's macaronis like burnt on top. Alright, close enough. Oh my god. Eat this whole thing, Carlos. <laughs> it's amazing. Tonight I have a very special treat for you guys. I'm here at Recharge in Abbeville, about a 45 minute drive from Avery Island, and this place is famous for their seafood. Unfortunately, it's not crawfish season, so we don't have crawfish, but we have some other amazing stuff that we're gonna mix with Tabasco. So I decided I'm gonna eat boiled crab, and right here we have the boiled crab. Woo! There's some pepper here, oh I can't breathe. It's gonna be good. Go. Yes. All right, here we go. Got the crabs. The way she said that. Ooh, hot. It's hot. <laughs> Too hot. What did you have, ma'am? Um, the corn. Mmm, look at that. Thank you. What do you think with Tabasco? For sure. Yeah, onion and mushroom. Mm -hmm. Um, here, just mm. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's okay. Okay. How are you eating up that? This is delicious. Anything else oh, before you start? This is 1868, the signature restaurant here on Avery Island. It's named after the year Tabasco was founded. We're gonna try some different things with Tabasco. It's cafeteria style. Let's go inside. So I went with two different plates. This is the Avery Island red beans and sausage. This was prepared with Tabasco habanero sauce. And then right here we have, so this is very unique. This is crawfish nachos prepared with the original Tabasco sauce. Oh my God. I've never had nachos with crawfish. Oh my God. Amazing. Oh my God. Here we go. Sausage and red beans with habanero. Mm. Not too hot, so we gotta add some more. Oh, this is the spiciest one they got. That's good. Woo. The habanero is no joke. Tonight we're having dinner on Avery Island with Brian Landry, local chef here in Louisiana, and he's gonna make charboiled oysters with Tabasco. So we cook with Tabasco all the time, and for this particular ingredient, we're gonna use Tabasco garlic pepper sauce. Okay. A lot of people just think heat when they think Tabasco, and that's not the case at all. While it does add nice spice, especially the original red flavor, a lot of the other flavors 
are way more complex and aren't just heat forward. And for this particular one, the garlic pepper sauce, I think it goes great with charbroiled oysters. Butter today and the, the garlic pepper sauce actually goes into the compound butter so that when it cooks and, uh, and the oysters start to curl and release some of their ju juices, it all mixes well together. And you'll taste a bunch of flavor coming out of this little jar. So we start pretty easy, uh, just a touch of olive oil in the pan and we're gonna sweat this garlic until fragrant. And it won't take very long at all. We're gonna just cook this garlic till it becomes very aromatic okay. uh, and translucent. The other thing we do is we add a little bit of chili flake now and the same thing. We want the chili flake to express a little bit of heat. A little bit of sherry vinegar, which is our acid, which is just the very outside of the lemon. So we have our butter, we add our garlic, little chili flake, sherry vinegar, lemon juice. We'll also add the uh, star of the show, garlic pepper sauce. I wouldn't consider it very heat forward. This is a really flavorful sauce. And all of these come together pretty quickly. Uh, when we cook, we want to cook just until the edges of the oyster start to curl. Tabasco garlic pepper broiled oysters. Boom. Number one oyster in the world. <laughs> I agree. In the universe, in the universe. All right, so I'm gonna try one. Okay. Oh my God, it's still. Mm. God, you didn't make enough for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get one more and that's it, I'm, just, I'm good. Mmm. It's like perfect. Yeah, it's not hot at all. It's like really good. Seasoned well. Seasoned well. <laughs> right, I'm taking this guy home with me. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Those are some of the tastiest dishes I've had in the southern United States. If you thought Tabasco was only for oysters, it's time to expand your horizons. Bye, yo.